hey guys it's mistress unruly today i have a story time for y'all and it's gonna be like a hairstylist horror story slash um me literally being caressed and touched on by the person that was doing my feet at the salon one time so let's get into it okay y'all so before i start this story time i just would like to say that for the past two mornings in a row i have gone outside and my um apartment complex has been in total chaos so yesterday morning this is like a little pre-story time because i don't know what's been going on but yesterday morning i got up i was on the phone with my mom for a little bit and then i was on the phone with ladybug that's what i'm gonna call that friend i was on the phone with ladybug and me and ladybug on facetime and like i hear signs i'm like you hear that she's like yeah what's going on i'm like i don't know but i just hope it's not coming to my neighborhood because honestly i hope it's not my building i don't feel like evacuating none of that like so i go outside and well first i had to put my clothes on because i literally was in my house in like a tank top and boy shorts so I had to put on some sweatpants, put on my bow, put on my Uggs. Because one, fire truck came, then two came, then three. I'm like, pause, something's wrong. So I go outside and guys, at first it was like a little bit of smoke. But somebody's apartment was literally on fire, okay? Fire, like a full-blown, I'm talking about orange flames. I'm going to see if I can put a picture somewhere up here, but... The apartment was on fire but at first all we saw was smoke we didn't see okay if that keeps flickering i'm going to turn it off anyway so all we see is smoke and then like a huge flame like like comes out the window i'm like Ugh. and then they ended up bringing somebody out on a stretcher fine that happened yesterday and you know the american red cross came like restoration companies came um the bomb squad was here too which i thought was just 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 dragging it but you know what that's not my business i don't know how those things operate uh because i've never really you know um so then this morning i'm talking about this is day two today i'm uh leaving a job interview and I have a group chat with my neighbors and they texted me and they're like, um, y'all, the paramedics and the fire trucks are back. I'm like, bruh, another fire. But come to find out the same apartment caught a fire again. I'm not sure how that works, but my neighbor was like, it could have been like an electric fire or like they never outed it properly. Um, but one of my neighbors, her brother is a firefighter, and he said if, like, a fire starts again, then that's not a good sign. So, that apartment building is now un un uninhabitable. Yes. It will sound like... <laughs> y'all, if y'all have seen that video with my sciences, please keep it off my timeline. I don't even want to repeat what she said. I'm, I can't. I can't. And, y'all, my nail broke. I need to get them redone but my nail broke um because i i'm pretty sure it slammed I bro it broke when i slammed into my friend's car on a snow day because it was ice snow turned into ice but um yeah the fire started all over again her brother said you know it's not good da 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 but um right now like the top part of the building which is what caught on fire is boarded up um everybody has to move their stuff out if it's not damaged but the top apartment i looked into it earlier that's done for like y'all know when, when a house is like how do i say this under construction and it's like they're putting up the wood framing and stuff that's all you see looked into that earlier and it's literally just wood framing i should have took a picture no i shouldn't have because that's no not my place but yeah i was just like oh my goodness their house is done for everything in there has to be gone like there's no recovering nothing because i'm talking about like if it caught, if the house caught on fire for a second time that's it but anyways let's get into the real story time oh my gosh i might have to like stop the story time or go on my ipad for this to, to get y'all to proof so y'all yeah, don't think i'm crazy 
So this story time takes place senior year of high school, which was only two years ago. I am class of 2022. Uh. <laughs> but I'm class of 2022 and you know of course beginning of the school year is like senior pictures season so everybody's you know getting their pictures like taking in everything y'all if you hear my vent in the back i'm sorry i just like finished cleaning and i just wanted the fumes to you know um but yeah so senior picture season and everybody's like getting their hair done, their nails done, whatever. So me, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to eat this up. I'm about to eat this up. Got my wig, I ordered my wig. Y'all, why did the video cut off? Because I, I'm running out of storage. Anyway, <laughs> so like I was saying, it's about that season. So um, um, like I said, I don't know where I ordered my wig from, but it came, the wig was expensive, okay? um and so got my wig booked my install booked my nails and i even booked my uh makeup which the girl that does my makeup which i stick to her because she's that girl but um the girl that does my makeup is freaking amazing okay so you know uh that was like around september i think I'm about to search for the messages right now. Oh, Jesus. Let me see. Ciao. I'm going to have to get them off my phone. Anyway, so yeah, so I message her or she messages me either or. And we're just talking about, you know, dropping it off because with wigs, you know, they have to pre-block it, do this, do that, whatever to it. I don't do hair, so I don't know. Um, And so I do that, you know, the energy seems fine. <laughs> and then, um, so I go to my appointment maybe like two days after, I think. Um, This was the Thursday and I was taking my pictures on Friday. Uh. So, go, I get my hair done. I'm not going to say the vibes were off, but I've been around more pleasant people uh, to do my hair. So, um, she does my hair and, you know, everything is fine. Of course, you know, some stylists will be like, oh, is it fine if I take pictures and videos of you while I'm doing your hair? Me? No problem. Yes. Or so I thought. <laughs> so i said that's no issue you know like go ahead i'm not tripping about it because i mean you need your content or so i thought like i said so you know i had got my nails done before my appointment because the girl didn't have any other appointments so everybody had already seen my nails <laughs> so <clears throat> hair's installed boom feeling like that girl i went to school the next day everybody's like oh shit oh shit this thing got one more time to cut me off before I get violent. Let me wrap it up then. Shit. So, like I said, got my nails done, you know. Got my, got my, whatever, like I said. When I went to the appointment, you know, the energy wasn't funky. Well, it was okay, like I said. It was just like, uh. So, um, the next day, like I said, I was at school and I'm feeling myself, whatever. So I get on TikTok. Mind you, I followed the girl on TikTok, the girl that did my hair. And like I said, I gave her permission to follow some So I was scrolling on TikTok and I'm like, mm. <laughs> okay. I pop up on a video, me. The caption says something along the lines of POV. Um, cuss, uh, you revamp um sheen wig that your your um client brought in i said sheen mind you at the time sheen only sold party wigs okay so i'm like i feel disrespected y'all don't mind me all my nails are falling apart i just can't <laughs> so at the time sheen was selling party wigs but they were also selling like wigs that were like synthetic and stuff so i'm like 
are you trying to be funny are you trying to play with me because don't play with me okay so i'm looking at the video so i sent it to my friend i'm like am i tripping or is she trying to trying to diss me yes you gotta try to diss me yeah the y'all want to diss me so she's like calissa oh nah bro she playing with you like what I'm like, okay, cool. Let me read y'all what I said her. I said, good morning. I saw the TikTok from my appointment. I would like if you took it down. I said, my wig wasn't from Sheen, so that's disrespectful of you to even say. She said, hey, it's a joke, but I'll take it down, no problem. I was gonna put it in the comments that it was a joke where you, and where you actually got your wig from. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. Sorry if you felt that way. I sent her that at like 10 something. Um, she texted me back and I ain't text back till like 12 something. And I was like, if it was a joke, then you would put that in the comments immediately after you posted it. It was up for three hours already when I viewed it. If that's the case, you could have ran the joke by me before putting out false information. It was shady. It was. I said, it was shady and uncalled for. Now, if you had a problem with me or didn't like me for some reason, then you could have refused to do my hair. Like I said, her energy was a little off when I was in her chair. It gave, so I don't know, to do my hair, that's no way to run a business. Maybe I was dragging it, but I don't feel like I was, like, you know? And she said, I posted it at 7 a.m. and I literally fell asleep after. I didn't mean no disrespect at all. It was a TikTok trend at the time. Sorry again if you felt offended. I should have said something to you. So again, I'm sorry. Okay. So my thing is, at the time, I was like, it was like fresh out of COVID. I was on TikTok 24, 25, 8. And I'm like, was this really a trend? I don't know if y'all know, but if you do know if it was a trend, please comment down below. Because I was confused. I was baffled. I was like offended. And you know what? Since we got it, let's see what the wigs on Sheen look like. <laughs> Cause I've never actually like seen a Sheen wig. Um, but yeah, I was like, and looking back at it, I was like, did I overreact? But like, I, I wanna know if y'all had bought your wig, the wig is about almost $200. Um, if, if you would like be like, what you talking about? Cause I don't know. My friends said I wasn't tripping. They was like, oh no, she's trying to disrespect you. Like what she talking about? Like, the, see, in a machine, and this is the type of ways they got up here. Like, you are tripping, shorty girl, to even say, I got my wig off the sheen. I so, like I was saying. All right, so I pulled up the first. Why is it not coming out? Pause. It's not loading. Oh, fine. I'll click on another wig. Here. So we can see the reviews on the wig. One of these. So this one is a <laughs> body wave. Mm -hmm. This one is a body wave, 13 by six, my wig lace. And you know, the girlies are saying that this wig is good. Might have to snatch myself a wig off the machine now. Okay. That's, that's the, okay, this is the wig. Allegedly. And then these are the reviews here. And people are saying good things about it, actually. But no, my wig was not from Sheen. And eh, like I said, disrespectful as hell. But you know what? That situation was cleared up. But like the way I felt disrespected, I was like, nah, you finna take that down. Or I'm finna come to your shop and whoop your motherfucking Take it down. Take it down. Because no. Because no, you trying to violate me. I don't like that. And it's so funny because I was like literally trying to find the wig that I did wear, like how much it was actually in real life. And I don't remember. And that was on my mom's Amazon account. And I just didn't have time to go back and be like, hey, mom, sir. Remember that purchase from like August or September of 2022? Was it 21? Ooh. Ooh. That's so long ago. She'd be like, girl, no, leave me alone. So, <laughs> um, yeah, but that's that story, okay? And I'm about to get into the new one. So, this was not long ago. This is like a few months ago. <laughs> and I have yet to return back to this nail salon. Well, to do my feet. 
because I go there just for emergencies. And um, so this happened like one of the days I was like, oh, my feet need to be done. So I went and it was like earlier in the day. Um, so I go and there's this new person and they send me to the person and I'm already skeptical because this person looks like they bite. Okay. <laughs> I'm already a little skeptical, so fine. I'm like, all right, I sit down and you know me, I don't like talking to the people that are doing my feet because like you are down there going hard at work. And I hate feet, so I don't need to talk, I don't look, I don't, I just, ugh. So I get in the chair, the person's like, what's your name? I'm like, Calissa. <laughs> How old are you? I'm like, uh, 19. They're like, oh, okay, so you're you're of age. I'm like, I see where this is going. <laughs> he was like, oh, you're of age, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. It was a guy, fuck it. I'm gonna just put it out there. Damn. Um, and he's like, okay, that means I can make certain jokes with you. I was like, um, I literally was like, not sure what that means, but okay. <laughs> And so, you know, I'm getting my oh, pedicure and stuff. And, you know, the time comes to, like, some places do, like, scrubs and stuff, right? And lotioning and all that jazz. So, um, he's trying to, like, have small talk with me. And I'm giving little to none because I don't want to have this conversation anyway. Um, so, he puts the scrub on my legs. And, you know, there's, like, a normal scrub and then there's a scrub. <laughs> and so he's scrubbing my legs and i'm like his leg his hands just keep going higher and higher and higher i'm like sir the calves are down here damn i'm like sir my calves are down there like your hand just keeps rising i'm scared for my life right now so he rinses that off and then we're talking about some show or some crap. I don't remember what we were talking about, but um, he ended up telling me to look something up. So at this point, we're like at the lotioning part because they wash your feet off from the scrub, lotion and oil it. And I'm looking the thing up. He hasn't put the lotion on yet. And he's like holding on to my... Mind you, at this point, you don't even need to be touching me because I'm looking something up and you're not doing anything. Um, his hand's just on my leg. Like, just resting as if he's my man. Like, not on my leg, but on my calf. Like, just resting. And I wish I could just show y'all what was going on. And I should have recorded it because <laughs> this, story, this sto story just doesn't, like, I don't know. So, he's like, did you see it yet? And he, like, is like dragging his fingers like up on my calves. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Stop touching me. <sighs> and y'all, um, I should have said something. I should have spoke up. But um, so then he's like lotioning my feet and just like lotioning. I'm talking about some. <laughs> oh, sugar. Mm. Y'all, and when I say lotioning, I'm talking about some. Like, oh, all right. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, it just ended up, like, that whole experience was, like, really awkward for me. And, honestly, when I got up, I was going to speak to the owner of the salon. And I chickened out. I did. I did. Um... I did say something to him, but like I never really like detailed much. I was just like, I felt uncomfortable doing my service. <laughs> and he was like, what happened? I was like, it's okay, you know, I have to go. And you know, the guy said he was new. I was not trying to get him fired. I wasn't, I wasn't. Um, I'm not trying to mess up nobody's bread, but, like, you're not going to, like, make me uncomfortable at the same time. So, um, that was that. But, yeah, those are my stories for today.
thank you guys for watching. <laughs> but no, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and um, comment. Subscribe and make sure you share this video. But subscribe.